Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, I'm happy to announce that I have a new course coming up. It is called Photoshop for Photographer. It's my longest course so far, over five hours long. And the whole purpose is to really give you all the tools you need with Photoshop for retouching your photos from a photographer viewpoint. Photoshop is a huge software and there's a lot of things you can do with it. We're going to look at it from a photographer viewpoint. The first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to use Camaro and we're going to retouch several projects. You can see some of the before and afters here coming on screen. And I'm going to show you a simple example at first and then we're going to go into more and more complex raw file editing until you really get the raw file looking like you want. Next, we're going to go into layer, mask and blending modes. To do that, I'm going to show you how to replace some skies so you really master the different types of blending modes and the different types of masking options that we have and how the layers really work with Photoshop. That is very important for you to understand. Then we are going to do some digital blending. Now, digital blending is an amazing technique for when you shoot the sky and when you shoot the, you know, your foreground and to mix them up to get a, all the dynamic range and a very natural result. Then we're going to jump into HDR. And on HDR, we're going to check the different techniques available today. We're going to do HDR using Photoshop and then we're going to do HDR using 32-bit files and tone mapping in Camaro, which is one of my preferred ways today because it gives a lot more natural result. Then I'm going to show you how to make a very HDR illustrative look with one single file. Next, we're going to go into black and white. And I'm going to show you two techniques to do black and white. One complete in camera row and the other one in Photoshop for very dramatic results. Then we're going to jump into removing elements and I'll show you the different tools that Photoshop has to take out and remove unwanted elements in your photo. That happens a lot when we take photography. Next, we're going to jump into panoramas and I'm going to show you my whole workflow on doing panoramas. Next, I'm going to show you all kinds of small special effects from uh, simulating a very nice bouquet on a photo from doing tilt shift photography, trying to mimic an 85 millimeter 1.4 lens to have a very uh, small depth of field, uh, how to explode details in a photo, all kinds of small tricks I've gathered over the years to give your photo an extra look. And last, we're going to put everything into practice to create one composite using all the things we have learned so far, and that would be the final tutorial. So I hope you do check it out. It's really all I know that I've put into one big tutorial on Photoshop. Photoshop for photographer. I hope you do check it out.